AquaConnect is a, a full stack aquaculture technology company. So we work with uh, uh, shrimp as well as fish farmers to improve their uh, farm productivity by providing them farm management uh, tools. Also, we are improving their uh, access to credit, access to insurance through uh, uh, various technologies. Um, one such not notable technology that we are using is satellite remote sensing technology. Uh, with the ground connect that we have and uh, also uh, the satellite remote sensing uh, capabilities that we are possessing, uh, we are now able to um, connect the farmers with the BFSA player. In the last three decades, the role of aquaculture in fulfilling the world protein requirements is substantial. Um, and also aquaculture in India witnessed an enormous growth and uh, so the stakeholders of the industry. India stands second place in fish production and its seafood exports are valued about uh, $7 uh, seven billion in 2018. Frozen shrimp is the key contributor to uh, our overall uh, seafood exports. It accounts for about 69% uh, uh, in monetary terms out of that $7 billion. Whereas uh, shrimp output has raised tenfold. So uh, put together in fish and shrimp uh, uh, production uh, capabilities that we have, India's aquaculture market is valued about uh, 7 billion US dollars. And uh, then this COVID had happened to the world. So, um, so that, that has uh, have a major impact uh, on our uh, uh, you know, aquaculture sector. Unlike Indian ag agriculture or dairy, there is, an, there is a disproportionate dependency on the export to overseas market. 95% of our shrimp production is being exported. Most of the shrimp importing nations too are locked down due to the COVID-19 as you would know. Uh, the implications are you are spending a lot on feed and also uh, since you are throwing more feed into the water, that is the small pond that you have, um, it also pollutes the pond. So eventually your pond creates more ammonia because the feed that you are throwing into the water, it is not being consumed by the fish. So this feed is turning into an ammonia and uh, it reduces the oxygen in the water. The biggest impediment for any development of any sector is, um, I would consider the lack of uh, uh, you know, technology adoption, the lack of reliable data uh, sets to make uh, uh, informed decision. So that is what's happening in Indian farms right now. So what our solution helps farmers uh, is to uh, provide technology to be able to uh, have a better farm management practice. So our tool is considered to be a farm management uh, application on the ground, uh, which is helping farmers to improve the water quality management of their pond, to improve the feed conversion ratio management, and also it is helping uh, them on uh, health management of these uh, species as well. So let's take an example of a shrimp farmer. Right? So a uh, farmer, uh, to become a successful uh, shrimp farmer, one has to manage about uh, uh, 50 to 60 different parameters. So largely uh, you can put all these uh, 60 parameters into four categories. The first uh, category would be water quality management. So um, it's something like we are living here and there is an air around us and air has got a composition. So when it has got the right composition, you will be able to breathe it. Breathe. Uh, so the same way, when the fish is in the water, you need to be providing the right environment for the fish. So the water quality uh, uh, you know, gets a major uh, cr critical importance uh, in this, like feed conversion ratio. The third part, is growth management. You need to understand how much of feed that has gone into the uh, pond. Um, what is the growth ratio, right? Category would be health management. So the shrimp would be getting a plethora of, uh, you know, uh, deficiencies and uh, diseases relevant to that. Um, so one has to be able to make a note of like what is going on into the uh, anatomy of the shrimp. 
see the first part is digitizing the farm management so by digitizing you are bringing in transparency into this in your operation by bringing in transparency into your operation you can now take decisions better so the first part is digitizing the second part is uh, a, you know uh, planning and the third part is predicting what is upcoming so and uh, the fourth part is uh, linkage to the market uh, because uh, your your data can now be put to use i can tell uh, the you know buyer that this farmer would be ready in two weeks for harvest these are the you know upcoming uh, technologies the whole south east asia hasn't picked up as well as i'm talking about india as well as south east asia compared to you know uh, india and south east asia we are still behind Southeast Asia is still doing better, and their yield is better, um, uh, and uh, their technology adoption is also getting higher day by day. I would place uh, uh, the forerunners as uh, European players and North American players, um, and also their unit economics supports the technology adoption. So th we are talking about cold water species in uh, Europe and uh, North America. Uh, when we talk about uh, uh, Southeast Asian aquaculture or Indian aquaculture, we are talking about shrimp aquaculture and a low value fish. So salmon fetches uh, more than uh, 2000 rupees per kilogram, whereas shrimp would only fetch uh, 400 rupees, 450 rupees uh, per kilogram at the farm gate. Uh, if you are talking about uh, uh, fish aquaculture in India, uh, we majorly farm uh, uh, IMCs uh, and the catfish. IMCs are known in the name of uh, uh, Katla, uh, Rohu, and Minhal. So these fishes uh, fetches the you know farm gate price anywhere between ninety rupees to one twenty rupees. What is expected as of now, and uh, uh, so in, in those conditions, how a farmer can mitigate the risk? of you know getting into losses because he's gonna get one uh, he's gonna fetch only the lower rate for his harvest right so now a shrimp farmer is uh, uh, spending about uh, two, 220 rupees 220 rupees for uh, a kilogram of uh, shrimp and he's fetching about uh, 350 rupees to 400 rupees at the farm gate so the rates are gonna go come down right they are going to uh, come down and uh, the way only way you could improve the production is by uh, having the technology implementation that is actually helping you reduce the cost of production and um, the other part is the technology also can help you uh, uh, you know improve your uh, product quality uh, because it can help you uh, with the traceability part of the business right so worldwide uh, the traceable products are uh, you know um, getting a premium value in the european as well as uh, north american market or if you talk about um, any other uh, developed market that are in importing uh, indian shrimp so uh, we are talking about 90 plus percentage of is being exported to uh, you know um, like uh, US and uh, China and Europe. There is only 10% is being consumed in India. So we need to now think about how do we actually mitigate such risks of uh, um, you know um, the whole lockdown in the uh, uh, logistics uh, chain, the worldwide logistics. Chain.